Hey guys, it's Sherry from Poly in Motion, and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about fake dip in After Effects. Fake dip is a is a is a very nice effect for creating 3D look for 2D elements in After Effects. And you can create not just in After Effects, you can create in Photoshop and Illustrator. But the key trick here is to uh, play with the color, contrast, and play the, with, with the position values of your object. And it's very simple. It's not. It's a little bit tricky, but it is uh, simple and it's not complex um, as it looks. Okay, the first trick is by duplicating the actual shape and make it a little bit darker. So like this. For example, if I shut off this layer, now you see that it is our actual uh, shapes, a very a nice uh, bars in here, and you see they are looking very 2D, and they are looking nice, but it would be much nicer if we add some depth effect for that. And for depth effect, we can simply duplicate the shapes like this, and now you see that they are looking a little bit complex, they are looking 3D, and it makes our uh, uh, design elements so attractive. For example, in text, and here I have a 2D text. If I shut off this uh, dip layers, it is our actual uh, text. It is very, very flat, and it's not looking too good. If I add some dip, and combining the technique in here, you see that now it is very, very nice, and it has a little bit of cartoony look and cell animations, uh, things like that. Or like this. If I add this kind of sh shading, you see that this is something like it's very simple, but but you might see these kind of elements, these kind of tricks in a lot of design trends, and they're looking a little bit oily and silly and and and, and uh, things like that. So in other one is also by using of inner shadow and by playing with the color contrast, we can achieve a very nice and fake depth for our elements. So let's escape too much talking and create this kind of things. How can we create that? So simply, I want to delete my elements in here. Uh, now we have our uh, very nice bars in here and it's looking good, but we want to make it a little bit attractive. For this, I'm just simply select this and Ctrl D and press P for position and offset it a little bit, like this. And you see that we have some, some uh, dark areas because of this drop shadows, then I'm going to delete this drop shadow to just make it a little bit more uh, attractive. It will look like this and I'm going to just offset it a little bit, like this. very nice and what I'm going to do in here is now they are not looking too good for creating this, that fake depth the key thing the key trick is to make it a little bit contrast give it a little bit contrast the second one I mean this one that we have this layer we have to give it a little bit contrast and we will make it a little bit darker so for this I'm using curve effect add curve to this layer and now simply just drag it a little bit and you'll notice that effect in here. You see that we just created our depth effect. And it's very nice. Not too much because it will it's looking too much fake. And we just want to do like this. It's very nice now. And if I play this, you can see. And we can simply duplicate this shape another time and go to position and position it a little bit. and simply copy this curve and paste it in here and now you see that we have a very nice depth effect in here and simply with this technique you can create your fake depth so in the next uh, example in here that you see a very nice strokey uh, things it's very very easy so simply if i delete this we have our text and for text, I'm going to select my text, and it, uh, it will work for every shape layer that you have in After Effects. If I go to Layer and Create Shape from Text, now I'm going to delete these ones as well. So now what I'm going to do in here is select my text and go to Layer and create a shape uh, text from um, this text that we have. Now it is a shape layer, and what I'm going to do in here is just toggle down this continent and go to H 
one of your character and delete this fill in here because we just need the stroke of it so just delete these fills and now in here just add an stroke enable a stroke and you see that we have our strokes and give it a little bit not too much maybe four is better or maybe this time just changing the color yeah four is better and all, uh, on the this uh, fix now it is looking not too much good but we will uh, fix that and if we offset it a little bit this outline by arrow key now you get that kind of looks and it's very very nice you see that with a little bit of offsetting you see that we have created a very fake depth and oily look for our text and the other example that we have uh, created is that if I just uh, delete this and create another text uh, shape from text in here and I'm just deleting this uh, the original text in here and add a little bit of stroke very nice and duplicate this and now offset this one and when you offset not too much because we will lose the shape of it you see that we just create a very nice effect in here like this and it's now have a very fake depth so that was from it and the other one is by using inner shadows so for example if I delete my layer style in here and layer style in here I'm going to select the shape layer and in layer we have in layer style we have inner shadow once I apply inner shadow it will, will nothing happen because we have to play with the values if I change the distance you see that we um, we will get this kind of effect shadows and if I play with the value you see that we can soften this but we don't want to play with the size and just put this to zero because we don't need any softness and change the angle like this and distance and also in color choose the same color and also in normal mode put it in normal mode and in color make this color a little bit dark to find to 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 find that area of the depth in here and you see that now we have a, a little bit of depth and if I just simply control C that and paste it on my uh, text and just make it a little bit play with the value we have to play with the value in here and also change the color to a little bit dark in here and as you can see we have now a little bit of depth and a little bit of uh, attractiveness to our elements so guys that was from our tutorial I hope you guys enjoy from this tutorial and put your comments below if you have any question or suggestion uh, feel free to reach me out and also uh, don't forget to subscribe if you didn't and uh, also check out other polygon motion tutorials there is a lots of tutorials on uh, motion design, UI UX design, and graphic design. So, my name is Jay, and see you guys next time.